Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you a gameplay between Grandmaster Vladislav Nevenici and Grandmaster Mikhail Marin from Romania. This game was played in World Senior Championship 50 Plus Round 6 tournament that is held in Bucharest, Romania. Both players had 4.5 points out of 5 before this game. Last year these two players meet again in Romanian Championship where Nevenici won with the black pieces. I've analyzed this game on my channel and I'll leave the game link in the description. The game from today was interesting because Vladislav surprised Marim very early in the opening with the last played move and his opponent failed to react by playing the most active moves. Let's see the game. Why well, started with e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, d4 and we have the scotch game, e takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, attacking the pawn and this is known as the Schmidt variation of the scotch game. White to on c6 in order to inflict some structure weaknesses. B takes on c6 in this position. Black has three pawn islands but his pieces can enter the game very easily. The bishop diagonals are opened and the rook from a8 can come on the b file. The most play move in this position and the most active one is e5 and after queen to e7, queen to e2, knight to d5, c4, bishop to a6, pinning the pawn, b3, g6, intending to place the bishop on the long diagonal, white does the same, bishop to g7, bishop to b2, short castle, bishop to g2, rook a to e8, short castle, bishop takes on e5, queen takes, queen takes, queens are exchanged and um, we have a balanced position with chances for both sides. There was a game between Carlson and Aronian that ended in a draw in 25 moves. I'll leave the game in the notation. In the game, Vladislav played the second move, which is bishop to d3. Maybe he wanted to surprise his opponent. This move prepares short castle, but it's passive. The bishop uh, is defending the pawn. On this square, the bishop looks like a pawn. Black can punish white and push d5 attacking white center but he opted to play d6 this pawn move allows the light square bishop to enter the game but the dark square bishop is locked white continue with castle bishop to e7 white wants to develop the knight to c3 but he would like to place it behind the c pawn so he pushed c4 short castle Following the strategical principles that we should follow in an opening, knight to c3 is the best. Why continue with queen to c2? In the opening we should develop pieces and the queen should be the last piece to develop. Black continue with knight to d7. His idea is to relocate the knight to e5 and attack the last core bishop. Bishop to e3, knight to e5, bishop to e2, preserving the bishop which is stronger than a knight in an open position. c5, d5 square becomes a weak sword and the knight is the best piece to occupy it. In this position, black has a pawn break with f5. White continues his development with knight to c3. And with this move, he finishes opening. The rooks are connected, king is safe and all other pieces are developed. Black can develop his light square bishop to e6, pressuring the c4 pawn. But he chooses to push b5, f4, kicking the knight, knight to c6. And in this middle game position, White needs to attack black weaknesses. He needs to move his pieces forward into opponent territory to take or attack something. If this is not working, he needs to improve his piece activity or decrease opponent activity. White continued with the correct move and he brought his least active piece into the game with rook a to d1, placing the rook on the same file with black queen, queen to e8. It seems that the queen wants to go on the king side knight to d5 good move placing the knight in the center bishop to d8 and the drawback of this move is that the bishop is no longer controlling c5 pawn white can go forward with e5 d takes on e5 bishop takes on c5 attacking the rook before moving the rook we need to see if black has some other aggressive options looking at all the pieces we see that knight to d4 attacking the queen is an alternative which forces white to take the knight rook takes on d4 c6 threatening bishop to b6 
winning the exchange, bishop to f3. If uh, black takes the knight, white will win the rook. Rook to b8, knight to c3, bishop to b6, queen to d3, bishop takes on d4, check, queen takes, black is an exchange up and he's doing fine. So knight to d4 in the original position, attacking the queen was a good move. In the game, Marine played rook to f7. In this moment, the rook is on the same file with black queen and the bishop can go here at some point, but first he needs to take on e5 because black will push e4. So we had f takes on e5, knight takes on e5. In this position white only attacking move is bishop to h5, forcing black to push g6 and then black can pin the knight with rook to f1 and if he takes the bishop white will recover the piece of the bishop to d4 and black is unable to defend this piece. In this position black has many many weaknesses. In the game white played another move rook f to e1 placing the rook on the same file with black queen. What can black play here? Almost all his pieces are on the last rank and he also has two pieces in his territory that he should neutralize and for this he can play bishop to e6 attacking the knight instead in the game he played c6 why continue with the most aggressive move bishop to h5 and if black plays now g6 he will get mated after queen to c3 attacking this knight c takes on d5 rook takes queen to c6 rook takes on d5 bishop to f6 Attacking the queen, rook to d8 check, bishop takes, and mate will follow. Black did not went for this line, and in the original position he took the knight with c takes on d5. White took the rook check, king takes on f7, bishop to d4, the knight is pinned. White will recover the material. Black defended the knight with the bishop. White can attack it one more time with queen to c3, queen to c6, counter attacking this pawn. White takes the material back, queen takes on e5, bishop to d7, queen takes, queen takes. White is an exchange and a pawn up and winning. In the game, Vladislav took on e5, bishop takes, queen to e2. Black cannot defend the bishop with the king because after rook to d5, he is lost. The game continue with bishop takes on h2, taking a pawn, king takes, queen takes, rook takes on e2, bishop to a6, taking the pawn, rook takes on d5, bishop takes on c4, bishop takes on e5, check, king to g6, rook e to f2, bishop takes on e2, rook to a5, taking this bishop, bishop to c4, and after rook to c2, marine resigned. A possible continuation would be bishop to d3, rook to c6 check, king to f7, rook to c7 check, king to f6, rook takes on a7, rook to b8, rook to f7 check, king to e5, rook to a7 check, king to d4, rook to d7 check, king to e3, rook to f3 check, winning the bishop and the game. So we can stop here. After this game, Vladislav has five and a half out of six points together with Angelo Young and he's on the first place. In the next round he will meet Angelo and probably the winner of this game will win the tournament and the title of becoming the World Senior Champion 50+. plus. So this was the game between Grandmaster Vladislav Nevenici and Grandmaster Mikhail Marin. If you found this video useful, click on the like button, share this video, watch other games from my channel and leave some comments and suggestions in the comment section. See you next time. Bye.